Hey, how's it going? It's been a long week for me. I'm sort of <clears throat> sort of scuffed, but you know, I've got a got a secret weapon. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. Okay, so today I want to just talk about models, material files, textures, OBJ models, that sort of stuff. What I've been doing up to this point with OBJ models is applying a single texture for the whole model. But this is a little limited. Occasionally I will go online and I'll look for OBJ models that I can download and use in my projects. And a lot of them do have multiple textures for the same model. So I figured I would face up to my, um, my shortcomings and really get a handle on OBJ files and material files. So here I have a bunch of these things. Um, here's my OBJ file. As we're familiar with, we have V for vertices, positions, VT for texture coordinates, VN for normals, F for faces. But we also have some other lines. So if I were to search and I'm looking for use material, we have some lines where we define materials that we're going to use for the vertices. And these materials are defined in the material library. If I were to go right up the top, we have, oh, why is that called? Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm not, I'm not reading it. Um, but yeah, we have material files. So if I were to open this up, here we have it. Um, each of these lines is a new material line. And then we have some parameters. Now, if I remember correctly, this would be the, the shininess component. Here we have ambient color, diffuse color, specular color, and so on. But I'm actually ignoring all of that. Um, but we have this line here, map KD. And on this map KD line, we have a file path to a texture. Now I've gone ahead and set these up and made sure that these were pointing at appropriate textures. So if I go over to the image folder inside there, for instance, for the ghosts, I have various um, textures. I have a whole bunch of these sort of set up. Okay, awesome. So then the question is, how do we use these? Well, for a model that we're loading, we have two files, the material file and the OBJ file. I will be providing the code. It'll be in the link down below. But um, I'll just step through this. So if we were to make a mesh, we would read these two files individually and it would be their job to populate our buffers and materials and things. Let's start with reading the material file. So when I read a material file, I sort of step through the file line by line I want to keep track of how many materials I'm loading because ultimately I'm going to load all of those materials into one texture array. So I look through here and I say, all right, well, if I see a new material definition, then I'll save the name of that material. So I'll just bring this up for comparison. There we go. So if we see a new material line, the contents after that will be the name of the material. So I'll just go ahead and save that. And then at the point where I see map KD, this is a point at which I'll save all the material info. So I'm keeping track of the set of file names for all the materials and the set of indices as well, because the first time I see a material, I'm going to load that in as image layer zero. The next time I see a material I'll load that in as image layer one and so on. But I just want to keep track of which file name is associated with which index. Right, so after we've looked through the file, saved all the file names for the materials, then we go ahead and actually look in and load those materials. And the way that works is we create a texture array all my materials are 1024 by 1024 with the texture array. They all need to be the same size. 
and we also know how many layers we're going to have there so we can allocate all of that space then we look through those material indices that we saved and we pretty much load the appropriate yeah load the appropriate image save that back in at the appropriate layer of the texture array and then we're done so at that point for the mesh that we're loading all of the materials are loaded up and in place then the question is how do we use that on the obj side well when we go in and read an obj we look for the use material line and the way this use material line goes i know that i'm repeating myself a little bit but we have used material and then a whole bunch of faces which actually use that material it's sort of like a I hate to say state machine because I've been on the state machine thing so much recently, but it is like a state machine, like well, procedural, I guess it goes, you know, top to bottom. Anyway, so we set the um, current material, then we load a bunch of faces, set the current material, load a bunch of faces. It's just like that. So I've got this variable called current material. Anytime I see that use material line, I set the current material and then that gets used in loading the face. So as we go along, we go da 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 da, alrighty. When we see a texture coordinate, we put in the UV for the texture coordinate, but then we also need to put in the layer. And again, we have this variable current material, which is set to whatever we're being instructed to use. And we just use that to look up the material index. So I think that's pretty much been enough in the weeds chat if that makes sense as i said code is linked in the description just a side note obj files is sort of a nightmare some of these files or most files will go v vt vn some of them especially some older ones will go v vn vt and that's just a nightmare to deal with so currently this will handle multiple textures but it won't really handle the different orderings, if that makes sense. It's just based on V, V, T, V, N. Anyway, here's what it looks like. It does take a second to load, but um, once it's all loaded, we can see that um, it works. So for instance, I'll just go down to this uh, ghost thing over here, and we can see that we have multiple textures. We have the pumpkin, the uh, the body, the cape, the chain as well is holding. And that all appears to have been mapped correctly. There we have it. So, wow. Isn't that cool? Yeah, what's that? <laughs> all right. Cool. So... Yeah, just a quick one today. I just wanted to talk through that. Loading OBJ models, loading materials. I've repeated myself many times. Okay, so that will be it. Thanks as always for watching. Hope you got something out of that. And I will see you again soon. Bye.